Hi guys, Korean Movie Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2013 Korean action crime movie called, Y, A Monster Boy. This movie is about a boy who was raised by five fathers. These five fathers are the most dangerous criminals in Korea. What is the fate of this boy? Can he escape the criminal world, or will he become the most dangerous criminal? Let's find it out. The movie begins with a scene of a man holding a knife seller hostage in the train because he was given counterfeit money as ransom. He doesn't hesitate to shoot a cop who wants to attack him. Outside the train, it turns out that a cop is waiting for him while his bullets have run out. He then releases the hostage. But suddenly, the hostage stabs the cop. It turns out that they were all underworld criminals. Now, they are debating whether a person should be killed or left alive. And it turns out that they are talking about this boy, hidden under the pot. They kidnapped this boy, and asked for a ransom earlier in the train. Next, the scene moves to a rich man's house, who is being massaged by a visually impaired boy. Suddenly, a group of robbers broke into the house and forced the house owner to open the safe. However, the owner of the house set off the alarm and threatened the robber. The bored robber then took off his mask and told his partner to kill the man. After that, he is going to kill the witness, the visually impaired boy. But he didn't kill the boy, after confirming that he's really blind. They then fled and were chased by the cops. At the intersection, the cops see a boy fall off his bicycle, and then chase in that direction. This boy's name is Huayi. And he is the boy who was raised by the five criminals earlier. He called them all fathers. The first father, who is ignorant and likes to tease Huayi. The second father, who stutters and also is very kind and caring to Huayi. The third father, who is cheerful and was a knife seller earlier. The fourth father, who cares and loves Huayi. And the fifth father, who is very strict on Huayi. And this woman, Huayi's stepmother, the housewife of all the fathers. Raised by professional criminals, Huayi is very good at long-distance shooting. The fourth father wants Huayi to go to an art school abroad and give him a new identity. But the fifth father doesn't agree, and wants Huayi to become a professional criminal like them. On the other hand, Huayi is sitting in a cafe and drawing a picture of his surroundings. He then sees a girl he likes. He smiles happily as he follows the girls, until he's almost hit by a car. The two of them started to get close. The girl praises Huayi's drawings, and says that she also likes photography, but her parents cannot afford photography school. The scene moves to the police station, where the visually impaired boy is being interviewed as a witness. However, he insisted that he couldn't see the robber at all. This is Detective Choi. He was the cop stabbed by the third father a long time ago. Due to his intelligence, he can tell the witness is not completely blind from the reaction of his pupils to light. The distressed witness finally speaks about what he saw. Unexpectedly, there is a cop who is also a spy for the criminal fathers. He informs the fourth father to finish off the witness before it's too late. They then ask Huayi to snip the witness when he leaves the police station. But when he's about to shoot, Huayi hallucinates seeing a monster and is afraid to shoot. Failed to fire, the fifth father then pushes Huayi and fires the rifle, which turns out to be empty. He just wants to test Huayi's courage to kill. And it turns out that it's the second and the third fathers who picked up the witness. Upon returning home, the fifth father then dragged Huayi into the basement. There, he kills the witness in front of Huayi, and asks him why he previously didn't shoot. Huayi tells about the monster he saw. He calms Huayi down, and later locks Huayi in the basement. In the living room, they are planning their next job, to break into a house and steal the land title certificate. This house belongs to Mr. Im and his wife. Later we will find out who Mr. Im is. Again, they assign Huayi to break into the house. While lockpicking the front door, a cop is about to approach Huayi. The fifth father is already preparing from afar to shoot that cop. But Huayi managed to open the door and enter the house. Unfortunately, it turns out that Mrs. Im is at home because she's not feeling well. She then hides and sends a message to her husband. The fathers then enter the house. Suddenly, Mrs. Im's phone rings. Huayi heard it, and then checked the closet where Mrs. Im is hiding. 
but Huei, who saw her, kept quiet and didn't tell his fathers. Mr. Im rushes home and enters his house. There, he is beaten until his prosthetic leg falls off. Suddenly the wife managed to escape through Huei, who did nothing. Knowing that, the fifth father slaps Huei, and again, orders him to kill Mr. Im. Wei, who is frightened, is constantly pressured by his father, until he finally shoots Mr. Im many times. Now, the cop who is also the criminal spy must cover up the evidence, including Mrs. Im who was seen by Huei. And as it turns out, the one who hired them is a real estate entrepreneur, who wanted to own Mr. Im's house, but Mr. Im refused to sell his house. On the other hand, after killing, Wei felt there was something wrong with his father's involvement with the man he killed. He then sneaks into Mr. Im's house again to check, and there he finds missing child leaflets. He is frightened to see the photo of the child, who looked like him. And even crazier, Mr. Im and his wife are the parents of that missing child. The sketch of the person who kidnapped the child is also similar to his first father. Suddenly, a voice comes from below, and he sees Mrs. Im is trying to hang herself. Huei then saves her. Now, some of the fathers are looking for Huei. He then sneaks into the fourth father's workplace. He asks who the son of Mr. Im is. And it turns out that the reason why Mr. Im didn't want to sell his house because he's waiting for his son to come home. The fourth father still refuses to say that Hui was their son. Until finally Hui shoots him. The scene moves to the hospital. Someone sent by the real estate entrepreneur is trying to kill Mrs. Im. Suddenly Huei comes and attacks him, until finally Huei kills him. He then cries seeing his real mother, and puts the handkerchief he took from the house earlier in his mother's hand. The news spreads fast, and now the rest of the fathers are chasing Huei. In the weapons room, when the first father is looking at the gun, suddenly Huei attacks. They got into a fierce battle. Cornered in that situation, Huei finally manages to escape. The fathers are trying to chase Huei. However, when the first father is about to shoot Huei, the second father immediately swerves. He doesn't want Huei to get hurt. But still, Huei's driving skills are so great, and finally he manages to trap his father's car, which almost kills them all. Now, Huei goes to the place where he was kidnapped, in an old warehouse. He then calls the fathers, asking why they raised him. And he tells the fathers to come tomorrow at 10 a.m. There, he also saw the monster he always hallucinates. But now, he's no longer afraid. The monster is slowly disappearing. He also invites the real estate entrepreneur to go to that place too. Wei's plan is to trap the two sides, the criminal fathers and the real estate entrepreneur into fighting each other. And his plan goes well. Wei then starts shooting the entrepreneur's crew to start the fight. Gunfights between them are inevitable. One by one they were shot, until finally the fifth and second fathers remained. And when Huei is about to shoot the fifth father, the second father immediately stops him and they get into a fight. The second father fell and ended up getting impaled. The fifth father then left by car. And it turns out he goes to the hospital to meet Mrs. Im. There, he then tells her how it all started. All the five fathers came from the same orphanage, and Mr. Im's father was the foundation's director. In the past, Mr. Im often went to the orphanage to play with them. The fifth father as a child also saw the same monster as Huei, and Mr. Im helped him by praying together. But the monster wouldn't go away. Until at that time, he saw Mr. Im close to a girl he likes. He then got angry and stole their happiness by raping that girl. Mr. Im, who at that time came to save the girl, was stabbed in the leg until it was amputated. That girl turned out to be the woman in their house, Wei's stepmother. After that incident, the monster disappeared. That's why he wants to destroy the monster that Wei sees in the same way, by doing evil. He then kills Mrs. Im. Wei who chased after him was too late. Now Wei can only cry seeing his biological mother has died. The fifth father finally comes home. He sits limply, and asks Huei's stepmother to prepare some food. This time, she refuses and curses him. He then drags the woman and threatens her with a knife. Suddenly, Huei comes and points a gun at the fifth father. Again, Huei asks why he killed Mrs. Im, Huei's biological mother. 
he replied that it was not important. All his father are monsters, therefore Huei must become a monster too. Caught off guard, the woman stabs the fifth father with a knife. He then gets angry and hits her. When he points a gun at her, Huei asks him no to, and apologizes to him. The father then hugs Huei and says that it's all over now. But he would still kill Huei's stepmother. And just then, Huei shoots him. And it all ends here. At the end of the story, Huei gifts a camera and a face sketch to the girl he likes. But he doesn't meet her. And during the inauguration ceremony, he shot the real estate entrepreneur who caused the death of the people he loved. So this is the end of the movie Huei, a monster boy. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, like, and comment to help out our channel. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.